Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today is a very exciting, amazing day because the new LEGO Ideas Winnie the Pooh set is officially on the shelves at the LEGO store. And I could not be more excited. It's going to be a great little set here that we're going to integrate into the LEGO City. It's going to be spectacular and I'm really excited. So today we're going to be heading to the LEGO store to pick up that new amazing LEGO Ideas Winnie the Pooh set. So let's roll on out and do some LEGO shopping. Woohoo! All right, everybody, we've arrived at the LEGO store here in West Edmonton Mall, and they actually have the Winnie the Pooh set on display. So today is sort of like a soft release for it. It's the VIP release. VIPs can buy it from the 18th to the 31st of March, and it becomes available on April 1st to the general public. So this is the Winnie the Pooh. It's the new LEGO idea set 21326. A little bit small when we get in there we'll have a look at the actual display i definitely like the backdrop how it's got like the tree and the fence and also uh, winnie the pooh popping over the top of the acrylic display there it looks pretty fantastic comes with some great minifigures and we're super excited to get it today here at the lego store oh yes they have it in stock of course they do it's right over there below the police station and bat wing and beside the blacksmith so it's definitely always an exciting time coming here to the lego store especially when there's a new exciting lego set like winnie the pooh uh, on the shelves for the first day. It's it's pretty awesome uh, integrating or, or interacting with all of the uh, different people in line, which is pretty cool. And it seems like everybody in line knows me, so that's that's a lot of fun. And it's on the shelves there. I'm pretty stoked. Just standing in front of DJ Llama here. I'm pretty excited. It's going to be a, a good time getting this set, also integrating it into the LEGO City. And it's just exciting times because it's going to look so good in the campground area with the blacksmith and the, the tree house and stuff like that. So I'm pretty pumped up on this set here. All right, here we go. Look at this Pooh Bear. So the new Pooh Bear set. We need a Pooh, that's pretty awesome. Also, uh, hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, good. <laughs> also check this out. We haven't had these on the shelves since opening day. It's the bonsai tree and also the flower bouquet. So that's pretty sweet. I probably imagine that those are gonna be gone here really fast <laughs> like those will be gone today for sure i'm surprised to see them here somebody actually pointed out that they were there and i was i was really surprised but this is what we're here to get today and this is the lego ideas uh, disney set 18 plus 21326 1265 pieces in the majestic yeah that's right majestic black packaging hey they have the porsche 911 rsr on the shelf Hmm. I personally thought that was gone, but I guess not. Here it is. Never trust me, I guess, when I say something's retired and something is not retired. <laughs> that would look really good beside the new Ferrari with all the stickers. I still need to get that one, and I definitely will. It's, is that the same scale as the Porsche 911 RSR? No, I think it's a little bit smaller, isn't it? No, maybe same scale. I'm not too sure. I still have to build the McLaren and also the Jeep Wrangler. So I probably won't get this. I'll leave this for another day for sure. But we are getting the Winnie the Pooh set, which is pretty awesome. There's lots of people here who don't know what they want to get. Uh, some people in line were saying they want to get the Millennium Falcon. That's the UCS one, of course. I mean, it's been hard to get. We got some AT-ST Raiders there from the Mandalorian. Millennium Falcon that's not for sale with the open interior. Jeez, that looks good. No matter how many times I marvel at that set, it just looks fantastic, okay? This one looks pretty good. Let's head to the front window here and let's check it out and check out all the minifigs, all the details, the tree, the cabin, everything like that. It, it's, it's pretty amazing. And while we walk by there, we're going to walk by the little fire ATV here. Oh yeah, I remember sitting on that not too long ago. Look at the little stud shooter in the front there. <laughs> pretty awesome. And then over here we have the Winnie the Pooh. Oh, it's got a back graphic as well. Back to the 100 acre wood. Relieve childhood memories and make new ones with the Lego Ideas Disney Winnie the Pooh. So there you go, gather with friends. What's the buzz? Make yourself at home, ready for a nap. You get Eeyore, Rabbit, Tigger, Piglet, Pooh. And it looks like the back of it also opens up. You can see the set there displayed. Right below the double-sided Winnie the Pooh cardboard cutout pretty neat display and there it is it looks really good get the little log out front there where you got Winnie the Pooh sitting on that beside Piglet and Rabbit a little sign there 100 acre wood with a pot of honey below it there's Eeyore 
Also, Tigger, what a brilliant minifigure. They look really good. Those minifigs are spectacular. Nice looking tree there with some great building techniques. Really like the, uh, the hive or the beehive up there. And you got the little print pieces with the bees buzzing around. Really neat looking tree there. Reminds me of the bonsai tree, I think. Those little uh, branches will clip into spot with all of the different leaves. Lots of arch elements in that nice, what is that, nougat color? Light nougat, I believe. Lots of cheese slopes on the roof there. Quite the little set. It's going to be a lot of fun to build. Looks like it's got a little chimney coming out the roof there. And that is pretty spectacular. This thing is really going to pair up nicely with, of course, the blacksmith, I think. I think they just look really good. They're both from the LEGO Ideas lineup. And also that tree house, like I said earlier as well. Yeah, I'm pretty stoked on that. Right behind it, we got the Duplo section, classics and also dots. I, I built some pretty cool graffiti the other day using our dots things. And that's the graffiti going around the train track. Like it's on the fence going around the train track, I should say. And I'm all out of dots, essentially. We did a lot of it. Probably about, I don't know, one sixth. Is that a fraction that we should use? Maybe one sixth of the way done the graffiti around the train track and i'm pretty much out of dots so i'm considering getting some more i'm just not sure like 374 pieces for 24.99 i'll show you guys that in an upcoming lego city update or lego room vlog update we were able to create some spectacular little designs using these sets and i might get some more i just have to think about it or i should see if they have any cheese style wedges not cheese wedges but sorry quarter tile wedges or quarter tile pieces of any sort that we could grab from this wall here to integrate onto our uh fence around the train track let's scoot in there and have a look oh my gosh i just remembered that i have these in like a dark red and also in this turquoise color and i could definitely use those for adding some really cool designs hey we could also use these heart pieces oh and here I am using my noodles. We could use those pieces to create uh, some intricate designs on the fence. I know they have studs. They're a little bit different. They're not a smooth tile finish. And yeah, they got yellow cheese wedges here. That's cool. Don't use or don't have very many yellow cheese wedges. I, I need those in red to finish our go-kart project. Well, not finish it, but continue working on it, I should say. What do we got up here? That's that coral color one by one stud. Hmm, don't see any smooth tiles here of any sort. But what I do see is a really cool looking gold element right up top here. It's pretty neat. But yeah, I don't see any. I know these are also available on the wall. So they do have the uh, coral quarter tile right there. Hmm. Maybe you have to scoop up a cup of those because we could definitely create some intricate designs using those but i'd like to mix it up with some other color as well like i said i do have those other quarter circle tiles as well in dark red and turquoise so that could blend together quite nicely so i'm just getting ready to check out here it looks like this lego store here might still have three different promos so they have the carrot house also the free easter egg chick and they might still have the amelia Earhart. so i figured i'd better get in line up and see if i can get another amelia Earhart before i uh, leave here today or before they're all gone with our Winnie the Pooh purchase. And then we'll continue to look at that thicker brick wall. We'll consider getting a cup of the quarter round tiles and maybe some more dots as well. So here we go. We got Winnie the Pooh, which how much is Winnie the Pooh? 130 bucks? 139. 139. And then we got the carrot house. In my last video, I called it the carrot tribute. <laughs> there you go. And then, whoops. And then we also have the uh, Amelia Earhart tribute. And the chicken, the egg. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I just spotted the uh, plant pieces here, which are gonna go great for creating, you know, like the indoor micro scene. They have like those little uh, pine trees. Those are gonna create or help us create those. And also what I can do is take some of my other plant elements, put this into a four-sided snot brick, four of those. And then you can put uh, some of the other plant pieces onto the tips of all these create a nice bush and you could also top the bush element with some flower elements which i have at home as well 
it's a common building technique, but I was triggered by it, or not triggered, I should say, but I, my interest was sparked when I saw Easy Craftsman doing it. So thanks, Easy. <laughs> what a coincidence that they have these on the wall right now. That's very convenient. So we're gonna get one cup. It's gonna be those. Also, I got some of those heart elements for our graffiti. And then I'm finishing it off with a quarter tile in the coral color. And also I'm gonna get some of the sand green telescopes because I'm gonna use those for railings on the Disney castle raised platform staircase. And also we're gonna use those in some other mocks as well for sure. So you know what I haven't had a look at yet? It's video. Well, I've had a look at it, but I haven't had an in-depth look at it. So there's all the products right here in this little cube. So these are the beat boxes. The minifigures are really cool. And check out like the headphones there. The minifigures are, look really high quality. Lots of print detailing on all of the different pieces, that being the legs, the torso, the arms, the head. It just looks really neat. And also you get all of the different uh, two by two printed tiles as well. For that reason, these things are pretty neat. And I do like the look of them. I just don't know if I wanna move into getting these. One of my buddies, Marshall, he actually created a, a music store and he's using all of those printed two by two tiles to put uh, records on the wall in the music store. And that's a brilliant use of those pieces. But these things all look pretty intricate and pretty awesome. So these are the beat boxes here, sort of like the starter concept. And then the video minifigs are in these cardboard packages back there for $4.99 each. And there's one minifigure in each of those and they're sort of expand onto your beatbox. Pretty cool concept. Hey, something I just noticed, check it out. There's all the friends, Ross, Rachel, Monica, Chandler, Joey, Phoebe, in the keychains. That's pretty neat. Not sure if there's some new keychains here, but we got uh, Hermione, Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, Thanos, ooh, Venom, Spider-Man, Superman, Batman. Wonder Woman, all sorts of cool minifigs here, just above the brick heads, brick sketches, etc. Ooh, Mando, Stormtrooper. I really don't look at these as much as I should. So everybody, we picked up our haul here, which is awesome. We got uh, the Winnie the Pooh set. We also got our pick a brick cup, along with all those promos. So that was pretty awesome. Standing in front of my new car here and checking out on this awesome Lego shopping video. Are you guys getting the Lego ideas Winnie the Pooh set? It looks pretty amazing and I'm pretty pumped on it. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.